My favorite season is fall, but my other favorite season is multiplication season. And if you teach multiplication in your classroom, you know exactly what I mean. We spend so much of our year focused on multiplication and division instruction because it is such an important concept for our students to understand. That's why I'm sharing my top three tips to help you tackle some of the most important multiplication strategies. Today, I wanna give you my top three for teaching arrays in your classroom. Tip number one, and if you take any tip, please take this tip. Vocabulary for arrays is so important. Students have to have an understanding of what an array is, what that word means, and what a row and what a column is. Because if they're mixing up rows and columns, this strategy is going to be incredibly challenging for your students to use correctly. And what's the point of teaching a strategy if our students aren't gonna use it correctly independently when they're working on multiplication? That's why I always start instruction on arrays with vocabulary for my students. I like to tell them that when you think about rows, you think about rows of seats at the movie theater and columns are what hold up the roof of your house. Taking time to focus on that vocabulary means the other parts of the strategy are going to get easier for your students. Tip number two is to really take the strategy slow. Really take the time to model for your students. Five times three means I'm going to have five rows of three. So I'm going to start by creating my five rows and then I'm gonna fill in with my three columns. Take your time because this is going to be challenging for students to understand. They're gonna mix up rows, they're gonna mix up columns. One of my tricks for this is when I'm doing rows is to give that starting point and then draw a line after it. So it's like I'm building those rows of movie theater seats for my students at the beginning of instruction. That way they can really see where the rows come in and where the columns come in. Take your time when you're starting with this strategy. Tip number three is to do lots of modeling and lots of practice with your students. There's no need to release them to do this independently just yet. You're just now introducing the strategy. I love the idea of that whole group comfortably practicing together because it gives students a safe place to make mistakes and express misunderstandings. When you're modeling with them, you're adding information as you go to those slides, it means students can really jump in and participate. It's gonna help them better understand this strategy. Make sure you have lots of great opportunities to model and practice arrays. I promise you'll be really glad that you keep those first days of array introduction, instruction for multiplication. Wow, what a tongue twister. You'll be glad you keep those days simple and straightforward, focusing on vocabulary, applying the vocabulary to that strategy, and then lots of modeling and practice for your students. You're gonna be glad you spent your time doing that. If you're looking for any of the slides I shared in this video, they're all from our third grade multiplication unit. The unit itself has everything you need to teach math, and I mean everything. Assessments, games, worksheets, and these daily slides that have all of the pieces to help you build a great mini lesson for your students to better understand arrays and multiplication. If you are looking for more help in your math classroom, look no further, make sure you check out this math playlist. It is chock full of our best videos all about math tips and tricks that are easy for you to implement in your classroom. I love getting to talk about math. It's one of my favorite things to teach. It's one of my favorite things to make YouTube videos about. So if there's another concept you're looking for help in, let me know down in the comments. I will put it in our video lineup. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you aren't already, I hope you're going to hit that subscribe button to join our community here on YouTube. I hope you guys have a not so wimpy day. Bye.